going to do a fireside chat. I'm gonna um, have you install the Brushes Redux app and now I'm gonna show you how to use it. So go to self-service, download it, and get ready to play. So down here is that Brushes Redux app. It looks like a pa palette. This is the first page you'll see. I already have a few drawings on here. Um, you wanna go up here to this plus sign, press the plus sign and then press create you'll have a white page like this. The first thing you wanna learn how to do is change the color. So that's that box down there. And this will come up, you can slide around there and change it however you want. Let's say that I wanna make a nice big orange wall. So I'm already on brushes and I wanna kind of paint my wall like that. So now I have an orange wall. Let's say that um, we're doing our project that we're gonna do. And now I want to um, have my table. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. I want to change the texture of my brush. So this little swipe here on the bottom, this guy, that can change the texture of my brush. So now I wanna sort of put some texture in and it's totally fine that I'm going over the orange because I want my table to be brown anyway and have a little bit of feeling to it a little texture and so now i have wall table that's what you want you want to have a wall and a table space now in order to show that it's a table i also want to sort of emphasize that by putting a line there this top one on here is sort of like your pencil or your fine tip so I'm gonna use that, to, oops, too big, um, to sort of draw a line across like that. Okay, now um, if you wanna play around a little bit more, here is an eraser, you can erase if you want. Again, I showed you the texture button. When you click on that, you can pick out all those textures. Um, the rule about textures is less is more. It's a little bit like makeup um, a little bit looks great and a lot looks like crazy town. So same with brushes and textures and playing around with those kind of things. Uh, less is more. Try it out. It adds another dimension to your work and I totally think go for it. But hold back on going cra to crazy town. So let's say that you want to add um, sort of the texture or the pattern onto your table or your cloth because I asked you to do that. You can sort of draw that on before you start doing too much else. But you know what, look, I kind of got my um, lines messed up there. So then I'm gonna go to this bottom one right here and I'm going to erase until I get it right. And then I can draw them a little bit slower and get it right. Okay, so now I got my texture or my pattern on my um, table and I've got my wall and I'm ready to go. So before you get started on the um, actual drawing, play around a little bit, have some fun, experiment with all the different tools. And there's one more that I wanted to show you. If you want to change the width of your brush from here, we did it really fat, and you can see um, when I click on it, how it changes the size. And then when I want a really fine point, I can go down to the 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22 range that's going to give you a fine point. Anything in the hundreds is when you get like, oh, I want to just paint the whole background in. Okay, so again, have fun, just experiment. Um, you don't need to send me any of your experiments. I just want to see the final drawing, okay? So um, play around and then go to the next video when you're ready, okay? Have fun, bye.